And finally tonight here, they're in our neighborhoods visiting our homes nearly every day of the week. And we don't often think of them as superheroes, but it turns out many of them are. And tonight, they are our persons of the week. There are more than 180,000 letter carriers across this country. And finally, the carrier delivered the letter to that little Delivering girl. mail for more than 200 years. In so many neighborhoods, they know more than just our address. They know our faces, our families. Mike Sylvester delivers mail in Duluth, Minnesota, telling us today that famous saying, neither rain nor snow nor sleet nor hail, goes both ways. Often his customers waiting for him. There are people waiting with a lemonade on a hot day or a hot chocolate in the winter. And in return, so many mail carriers going above and beyond their job. Charlie Rose delivers the mail in Athens, Ohio. We're out there every day. We know when something out of the ordinary is happening. And when they see something, they act. This week, six mail carriers honored in Washington, D.C. for their heroism beyond their job. Celia Ruiz from Virginia Beach honored after rushing to perform CPR on a child after a drunk driver in this pickup truck swerved and hit the boy as he was walking to the bus stop. His mother overcome by the goodwill. He's blessed to be here. Blessed in part because Cecilia ran to help. We're not just letter carriers. We're a little bit more than that, you know. Tom Logue from Cape Atlantic, New Jersey, proving that too running into the water to save a boy he saw drowning at the beach on Father's Day. He remembers handing the boy back. The boy was hanging around my neck. I handed to his father and said, Happy Father's Day. And then the father um, came up to me, hugged me. The father saying to the mailman, God bless you. And then Mike Sylvester from that neighborhood in Duluth. He sprang into action when a car lost control, crashing into this telephone pole. The woman trapped in the mangled car, the gas leaking. He got her out. And that's kind of the, uh, you know, the spirit of what built this country. You help out where necessary and do whatever it takes to get the job done. It's that same message we heard from the Postal Service back in the 1950s. It's an important job for national welfare and for the welfare of every man, woman, and child in our A country. message that rings just as true today. I guess I just see myself as somebody who delivers the mail and helps out where necessary. With their thumbs up there, so we choose our often underappreciated postal carriers who are delivering mail, and as we learn tonight, saving lives too.